let's talk about string.format. This is a way that we can format our strings as we wish. And we've seen this in the console.writeLine video. You might want to take a look there so you can see all the ways that you can do that within the same similar ways that you can do it within string.format. String.format allows you to also work in different ways than you're used to. We can extend some things. We're going to extend this to format a phone number based on a number, and you do have to pass your integer values here. So if we pass in this integer, this is going to put the places in here for the numerics here. With a number sign, you're going to put in the first, second, third digit, the next three, and then the last four, separated by a dash and a space, and then parentheses. So it works out nice. You have your 0 colon, 1 colon, 2 colon, however how many you have added to this list here. And then here's another way to, to format the currency. You, you can see that we can actually specify our own dollar sign here. This example relies on the currency of the machine. So in this case, it's going to be a British pound sign, because that's what I have set up on this machine. You can also see that we put numbers in, separated by comma. You can use the number sign or a zero here. So 0.00, zero, dot zero, zero. try it alternately with just the numbers here instead of zeros, and you'll get the same results. This number here has a decimal value as well, and we're just going to output that to the console. So the last example, we're actually going to format a string. You can see we have four places for our year, dash, two days, dash, a couple of M's for, for month. You can see you can do uppercase or lowercase. Then we have the time. T is just a time indicator. There's a space as well. The hours, the minutes, the seconds, you can alternate between upper and lower case if you wanted to. And then the fraction of a second, if you want. And date time is the class for actually getting the date, the date time information. And dot now is going to get the current time. You might be familiar with that from Visual Basic or other languages as well. So we can just debug this. and see that we have the currency formatting. You can see we have the pound sign here. That's what's set up on this computer. And then we just have our currency with the decimal place in, in place. Zeros are added because it was a, a whole number. Then our phone number is formatted correctly. Then we have the other currency. Note that it's a much larger number, has the dollar sign. And then we have our date time, the year, the day, the month. And then we have the T is going to indicate just the time we put that in there and then we have the time with the fraction of a second as well so very neat very easy to get that to work how we want it to you can explore how the system.format works from the Microsoft documentation because it can be quite detailed in how you do that it would take quite a long time to give you all the variations of how you can work but it's very very powerful there's many ways that you can work and format your text format your strings and use them throughout your application you can use this to insert into databases to make sure things are working correctly. If you can check within bounds, like taking numbers, for example, it'll test for certain limits, but then you should also use regular expression to test as well, because regular expression really works well. If you can handle the cryptic type language that you have to work with to get your regular expressions to work, it takes a lot of logic.